Welcome back, everyone. It's time to check in with Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Andy Stein. Andy, everyone's hoping for sunshine this weekend, of course, because they have plans, but it's really not too surprising that we're talking about this rain. I was talking to my folks back in Missouri. <laughs> right. It's going to be a washout there, too, but, you know, I was, I was telling my mom, it seems like it's always the case for Memorial Day. I mean, and go figure that it's like the first holiday that yeah. we can actually get out there and enjoy, like, some big gatherings, right? Yeah. Yeah, we unfortunately uh, just have to watch out for the weather that is coming at us and you know we can't really control when it happens or how it happens but we can tell you all about it and what to expect and that's what we're going to do so hopefully you can move some of your outdoor plans indoors for this upcoming weekend or uh, travel far enough away to where you might not be impacted by it. Right now we're taking a look at the satellite and notice these big storms that have been bubbling up over Los Animas County. Those were severe at one point. Those are starting to weaken now so not worried about that. Also seeing some big uh, cumulus clouds uh, popping up uh, right over Albert County. Those have some uh, heavy rainfall rates in them and also a little bit of small hail. We're going to zoom in on that area in just one second, but the majority of the area of the Pikes Peaks region of Southern Colorado is dry. Here's those storms just to the north of Peyton. We're talking about near Kiowa and up towards uh, just to the north of Simla. These are also beginning to weaken a little bit, but they still are dropping some heavy rain in a short amount of time. So just be careful if you are heading towards central Albert County. Now the water vapor loop as we take a broadened look at the west we do see this next cold front that's draped from about Minot, North Dakota to Salt Lake City. That's going to be our next weather maker that brings some of those uh, heavier downpours and severe storms to our area. For the rest of tonight, we're actually going to see some of those rain showers in Albert County push off towards the east towards Kiowa County and Burlington. Most of us should remain just partly cloudy tonight, uh, not expecting much more in the way of widespread uh, rain. That's going to change as we head towards Saturday. We do have a marginal and slight risk of severe weather for the afternoon hours. This means that that we could see an isolated tornado. We could see some large hail and we could see some damaging wind with the storms that fire up on Saturday. And here's your hour by hour look at that forecast. Once we get into the morning, it's actually going to be relatively clear, but come one, two o'clock, those clouds start to blossom. The showers start to form and we're going to watch those along the I-25 corridor and points off towards the east. Uh, we're looking up around Albert, Albert County and eastern El Paso counties for some storms right around 3 p.m. tomorrow. We're also looking down towards the western side of Los Animas County around Kim for some strong storms as well. So please make sure you have a way to get those weather alerts to you. It's looking like heavy rain is going to be with us even in eastern Colorado through the end of the day on Saturday. So it is just going to be an overall cloudy and uh, at times very rainy day. I won't say that everybody's going to get uh, hit with the rain, but uh, we do have a solid chance of just about everybody seeing rain, especially as we head in towards Sunday and Monday. Here's your severe weather outlook on Sunday. We have a general risk for thunderstorms across the entire state. So if you're traveling anywhere across Colorado. There's a good shot that you could see some thunderstorms form in the afternoon hours. We're kicking that off in northern Colorado Sunday morning with some rain around Denver and Fort Collins. Even some snow up in the higher elevations around Rocky Mountain National Park in the Continental Divide. That rain spreads off towards the south as we head towards Sunday afternoon. Heavy rain moves into the Pikes Peaks region and the on and off rain showers will continue through much of the evening as we uh, continue through Sunday night. Now once we get towards Memorial Day, unfortunately it's looking very wet as well. Temperature is very cool in the lower to mid 60s with rain showers, uh, a possibility throughout the entire afternoon. So any Memorial Day plans uh, might have to be pushed inside as well. Overall rainfall totals. Look at that. It's uh, the same story we've been preaching over the last couple of weeks. The continental divide acting as a divide between wet weather and dry weather. So although we do have a lot of wet weather here on the eastern plains expected, hopefully we can get some of that over towards the western slope as well. Quick look at your seven day forecast. Here we go with Woodland Park. Temperature is falling from the 60s into the 50s and rain showers a pretty good likelihood all the way through Monday. We finally begin to dry out by Tuesday and Wednesday and we begin to warm up nicely as we head into the end of next week. Even in Canyon City, it's just the next few days. It's going to be pretty wet and cool and just kind of a damp Memorial Day weekend. Pueblo looking a little bit damp and cool as well as we head towards Sunday and Monday. But look at that as we head towards next Friday, temperatures could be breaking 90 degrees. So we'll have to watch that forecast too as heat and dryness begins to move in Colorado Springs. It's going to be wet over the weekend and for your Memorial Day holiday. Stay with us. We'll be right back.